I can't even remember the friggin' title. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Amber and Abridged. Uh, I'm here with another short story Sunday. I'm hoping that I can get around to filming some more of these. This year, I've decided to try to read a short story every day. So I'm hoping that, you know, enough uh, stick out that I want to share them with you all. So, so the short story I'm going to be speaking about to, in this video is The Galactic Tourist Industrial Complex by Tobias S. Buckle. Uh, this comes from the New Suns short story collection. It is original speculative fiction by people of color, uh, and it is edited by Nisi Shaw. At the time of filming, I am a little more than half, I'm about two thirds of the way through this book, this collection, and I'm really enjoying it so far. And this story is actually the first one in the collection. I will be speaking candidly about some spoilers. However, even if I spoil this one story, if you do decide to check out the whole collection, all of the rest will be new for you. So this story follows Tavi. He is a human cab driver in uh, New York City. And this is set in the future where the nobody drives on the ground. Uh, all of the cars are air vehicles. Tavi drives his sky cab around and his primary, his, like most of his passengers are actually aliens who are coming down to earth to experience authentic human stuff. It's great because you know, they show up and they're like, oh, we're going to get real human food. And they're like, yo, that'll mess up your stomach. You don't want that. Because they're aliens, you know. So these hella rich aliens come down because they're all hella rich in order to internationally travel. But then they don't tip well because it'll like mess up the Earth's economy. But they're paying to come to Earth anyway. So where's that money going? So Tavi is you know driving his his sky taxi which his taxi is a little beat up it's a little old it's probably out of regulation so he's driving his air taxi and um <laughs> and one of his passengers just opens the door and jumps into the river i think the hudson river don't remember yeah that happens and so he reports it to somebody some kind of authority. And then he gets a visit from some office guy who's all like, hey, we bought you a new cab or we updated your cab. It's all safe. And you've got all these safety precautions now. Nobody will jump out of your door. You just can't talk about what happened to anybody at all ever again. So he's like, okay, sure. Not a problem like really cool that I can have this taxi because it's hella nice and he's like yeah yeah you're good you're good buddy he's thinking that everything's fine and then shortly thereafter a friend of the guy who jumped out of the cab shows up and he's like hey I'm trying to figure out what happened to my friend and Tavi is like well this is awkward because he's not supposed to talk about it and the guy's like come on man you know I've tried asking around, I've talked to, you know, all these bureaucratic douchebags and nobody will give me a straight answer. So I'm just looking for the truth. So he tells him the truth. The truth was also apparently that homeboy was tripping out on a whole lot of hallucinogenic drugs. Like the thrill of there being no safety net to catch him apparently was just too good to pass up. The, the friend of the guy who jumped out of the cab was so happy to finally have the truth. And he was like, wow, this is crazy. A, a whole lot of people are going to come visit now because we know that, you know, we can, we can get all this thrill seeking, you know, while we're here. And Tavi is like, oh, all right, all right. That was the Galactic Tourist Industrial Complex by Tobias S. Buckle. 
I really enjoyed the story. It was a lot of fun to read. And I highly recommend checking out New Sons. Uh, it is a really fun collection. And uh, yeah, if you like speculative fiction, you're going to find something to enjoy in there. If you have any thoughts on the story that I talked about, or if you have any collections you think I would enjoy, uh, please comment down below. And I hope that you all have a great day. Thanks for watching and happy reading.